music you've just heard is a section of the track that I'm going to show you how I added to the menu discussed in the previous tutorial. The opening screen shows the various components of the menu again contained in one folder. I do it this way so that if I want to transfer the menu from my desktop computer to my laptop so I can go out and do the show elsewhere it's all contained in one folder so it makes it easy and you don't lose any of the bits and pieces contained therein. This particular slide shows the exe files for the shows I'm going to use in the menu, the music track, the audacity icon, the short video clip with the uh, MGM lion, the audacity working icon and a couple of slides that um, I threw in to lead up to the menu I used. The other bits and pieces on this in this folder aren't relevant, they're just the um, things I use to let the residents know here when and where the slideshow is going to take place and a seating plan because we've only got 18 seats. Anyway, we'll start off now with the screen capture pre-recorded tutorial. Right, here we go with the 12th attempt to get this sound coordinated. I've opened the existing menu folder that we used for the first tutorial clicking on the pictures to exe icon and there you can see all the components of the original menu. The object of the exercise is to add music to the beginning of the menu. So I'm clicking the Audacity icon, I'm going to File, Import Audio, and I'm looking for the track now that I've prepared for this um, tutorial. It's obviously not in that folder, or that folder. It's in the Sterling Court menu folder. There we have it. Sprack Zarathustra, which is from um, Space Odyssey. Right, we've opened it up and I'm going to take off the lead in section now because I like my music to start as soon as the pictures appear on the screen. You'll notice that there are some spikes which is called clipping on the waveform. I've just re removed the um, end of the track as well. So we've got um, a track of about 1 minute 24 seconds. I'm now going to normalise it because of the clipping. So click on normalise. Preview it. And then if it's OK, OK it. And we've normalised it now, which will have got rid of all the clipping. So now the, um, the track should be ready for putting into the Pictures to Exe menu. So export, find the file that it's going to go into, which is Sterling Court menu file. Change the title so that you don't get mixed up with the existing track. I'll call it um, New Open Track. As you can see it's an mp3, so we'll save it. Now this is the data contained within the file, so I'm going to clear that. I'll tell you why later. It's exporting the track now into the Pictures to Exe folder. 
I'm also going to save the Audacity folder so that if I need to go back to it, um, it's there for reference if I need to do any more editing. And we'll call that new opening track as well. There won't be any um, cross-contamination because it's a different type of file. Right, we're back at the components now. And we'll reopen the menu, which has just been minimised. Right, there we go. Now there's various ways of putting the sound into uh, something like this. The normal way is to put it in via project options through the music tab. As you can see there's a track already there. But in this instance I want to um, the video sound to, to run before the music starts. In other words I want the lion to roar. So I'm going to put this um, prepared track on the third slide. So I clicked on the third slide and we'll do this. Take the one out of project options. Customize slide, music, get rid of the one that's in there, add the new opening track, and that's now in on the third slide. Now on the actual menu slide, we want to fool it into thinking there's music there so that when the actual menu slide is on the screen, there will be no, no music playing. That was uh, an idea of no beef stews that I've adopted and it's worked fine. It's a workaround but it works. And that's it. Hopefully from uh, what I've said you'll be able to um, put music into your menu.